Hi guys, so I am at the airport. I am at Heathrow. Oh. I'm at Heathrow and I'm about to go to New Zealand. It was the most spontaneous trip ever. So I'm heading on a little solo travel to New Zealand for nine days and I'm gonna log it all on YouTube. I'm going with Kiwi, like a travel company. Yeah, I'm just gonna log my solo travels in New Zealand. It sounds as spontaneous as it was, but I'm here at the airport. I'm literally about to get on my flight. And yeah, I'm actually super nervous because I'm staying in hostels with like female dorms. It's very out of my comfort zone actually that. I don't like my own space, but yeah. Let's go. Also, I've kind of always wanted to tick off the bucket list, solo travels, so why not? How cute are my nails? I got them at Chi Nails in Common Garden. I got one hand like pink chrome and the other like green chrome. Yep, yeah, super cute. Anyway, I best go board my flight. I moved over here where it was quieter so I could vlog, but I best go and listen in case I'm boarded. Okay, I successfully made it to Singapore Airport. That was a 13 hour flight. I got on the flight at half past eight. Stayed up for like an hour, I watched a bit of a movie. Fell to sleep, I woke up with two hours left. So I had like the perfect night's sleep, which I was really worried for that 13 hour flight, thinking, oh my God, if I don't sleep, like if I feel sick, blah, blah, blah. I'm so happy with the way it went. I literally like had a full night's sleep, woke up, had two hours left, had some breakfast, freshened myself up, and we're basically here. I'm also so gel because here at Singapore, it's 33 degrees, and when I got off the plane, the heat was just lush. And then knowing that I'm getting another flight now, I was just gutted. I was like, oh, I wish I could like stay here for a bit. Singapore's actually somewhere where I'd like to come. So now I am about to board my next flight, which is to Auckland, which is 10 hours, and I think this one's gonna be the killer. I think this is where I need to try and stay awake because my body clock saying it's nine o'clock in the morning at London, but here it's now half past six at night. So it's gonna be a dark flight again, but I kind of need to stay awake. But then no, because if I get more sleep, then I'm not gonna be overtired. So I'll catch you on the other side. Okay guys, I've arrived at Auckland. I'm just about to get my flight to Christchurch, but I've just grabbed an avocado and chicken toasty and then a reboot smoothie. I'm actually feeling really good. Um, I wonder when that'll hit me and I'll soon start to feel tired, but this is an hour our flight to Christchurch. Oh, and let me tell you, it's hot here. It's nice and warm, so that's a good sign. I took my jumper off, I'm actually sweating. Um, it's like a little walk to this terminal, but here now, and yeah, I'm gonna get the next flight, and then that's it, last leg of the journey. Okay guys, I have made it to the first hostel. There's another bed here, but there's got people's stuff on it, so I won't show that bed, but yeah got this bed, claimed it, um, and I like that it's not bunk beds. Oh my goodness, there's a Scooby-Doo bun outside. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Um, but yeah, gorgeous views, like a garden's over there. Um, and yeah, I've just claimed this bed, so this is the first room for the first night. I'm trying to be quiet, because like, I don't know if anyone's gonna come in or not. I look like trash, so I'm gonna freshen up a little bit and maybe go for a little walk outside, because there seems like a garden thing over there. Right, I'm gonna go. Okay, we made it and we're just walking through. I think we're going to try and find these little markets, but it's really, really cute. Nice little shops, and it's actually quite hot, guys. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. Okay, we've just come on a little walk, um, and look at this river. It's gorge, and we've literally followed it all the way from down this way. And we've got a little coffee. And it's Hannah, everyone. Hello. We met her in the corridor <laughs> as soon as we checked in. But yeah, we're just gonna keep keep walking. Um, and we're just kind of going wherever we want right now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. It's going willy-nilly. <laughs> we've just found this over here, and we're gonna gonna walk this way because we're meeting everyone at six o'clock so it's about three o'clock now there's some sort of sailing thing going on on this screen here and everyone's just watching it's really cute this little city tour train's cute Ding -ding. She's off. oh why is it so cute Okay, we're coming to this little crystal shop. Oh my goodness. This is my kind of shop. There's so many cute little charms and crystals. Look at all them. Oh my goodness, love it. We're having all colour these, but we're quite attracted to colour, aren't we? You're quite attracted to this one because of the colour. I said, feel feel which one comes to you. She was like, I'll go for the pink. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is. What even is that one? Opal, Opal glass. glass. Yeah. I don't know anything about it though. So. This is where you find out it's about like de-stress <laughs> and you're like, no, not that one. <laughs> it's not my... Even blue moonstone. These blue ones are nice. We've got so much. Oh my goodness, look at these. 
Imagine trying getting that for your scurry though. <gasps> 600, 1,150. What? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> that one there. I oh, really my. love it like these, they're so pretty. I love a salt lamp. Have you got one? Yeah, I do actually, <laughs> I do. It's out of my bed. I was gonna guess that. I do. I'm really nice. What is it? Kale Green tea. Green juice. Refresh and glow. Shall we see if we feel refresh and glow? Is this a dog? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not good. Right, cheers. Oh, oh, yeah. It is green. It is green. Oh, Kale, apple, mint, lemon, matcha green tea, and stuff like that. Very green. Thank you. It's very green. Okay, we are at the Botanical Gardens. Is that what it's called? It's right yeah. outside the Hotel yeah. Give. Um, it's gorgeous, like so gorgeous. Oh, some duckies. They're different. They're really cute. I'm just gonna walk around here and then head back to meet the gang. We're just saying how good it is that we literally met on the corridor walking in yeah. and then now we've been able to do all of this. I feel like if not, I would have been in the room like editing a YouTube <laughs> video or something. I'll show you one here. This is how big the gardens is and where we are now. And that's, that's a hotel and that's where we are, the blue dot. These gardens huge but it is beautiful we're just literally walking around chatting oh and the sun's gone in i promise it was sunny <laughs> guys we've met the group and here with Bree. guess what she's my dormy and we have the same freaking tattoo let's show them <laughs> look guys we have the same tattoo and we've got the same shoes on if that isn't like dorm dorm friends unite then i don't know what it is we have got the same <laughs> yeah, jumper on have. we're literally same matching day. what is going on right we're late from the group let's let's hurry up guys um, okay well this street's cute it's, it's actually called regent street we're right in london uh, we're just gonna walk down back in london of the dom new regent street ah the new one <laughs> is it for like break dancing <gasps> <laughs> You better not kill the group. And then it'll come up and the connection is dancing. That's mat. crazy. Yeah, it's dancing a dance mat. mat. That's so cool. <laughs> Gap filler. Christchurch. That's just sick. This is so cool. Could sell some tickets out here. Yeah. Oh, guys, this is our tall guy. Yeah, You're going to see him in the vlog quite a lot from now. And he carries a random ball with him. Make it till you make it. So many times one. I like the white ones. Mmm, yum, yes. Should you get some? Yes. Should you do a little share? Yeah, share by? absolutely. Okay. These apparently are also for future reference. It's very good, apparently. Double. double Is that coat. dark or just, oh no. Milk, but it's double coat, so it's like thicker layer of Okay. Chocolate. That's kind of cool, guys. Popcorn treats, mint chocolate. Mint chocolate popcorn, that sounds cool. Okay, we've got some food. I'm sat near the fire and we're all just sat in this pub having some food and we're gonna head back, but I've got some chicken and some cheesy fries on the way. Yum, I'm so hungry and I'm now hitting a wall. I'm so tired. Okay guys, I just got back, got showered, put my PJs on and just about to take this little bit of makeup that I've got on off my face and get to bed, but I'm super tired and I'll catch you in the morning because right now I'm too tired to even function. Okay, good morning everyone. We've up at six this morning. No, your alarm went off at 5.50, right? Yeah. And we got up at six, so we've smashed it. Do you know what, I slept so well, I think with the whole flight and time difference, I actually smashed going to sleep last night. And yeah, it was actually really comfy. To say we're in a hostel, these beds are actually really nice. And your hostels haven't been, have they not been as comfy? Is this one of the best? Yeah, it's one of the better ones. I think tomorrow's gonna be nice. Oh no, today. We're going to the next one today, aren't we? Yeah. I think this one's gonna be nice. Anyway, we're gonna go down now for some breakfast and get on the bus and head to the first place. Um, let's have a look, what's it called? Devil's Punch Bowl? Yeah. And then Arthur's Pass. Yeah. I remember that, I've been looking. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. I've got my jumper on, some leggings, my Air Force, and a like gym top underneath. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a little bit chilly. Also got my rain mac in my bag. I'm gonna take this bum bag from Julie Hicks. That's the plan stand, let's go get some food. Okay, breakfast for the first morning. I think I might go for a little croissant and maybe an orange juice, I'm thinking. Oh, actually some cereal. What are you fancying? Just yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt. fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I love peaches, they remind me of my granddad. Okay, we've come for a little stop off on the bus to this map and look at the view in the background. I'm literally about to go over oh, the mountains and over the other side. Okay, we've just got off our bus and we are here and we're gonna go for a little walk. 
And over here is all the limestone sticking out of what used to be the bottom of the ocean. Yes. <laughs> I think we're heading that way, so let's go. Okay, we're coming a bit closer now. It's actually huge when you get close. It's crazy. They said it's really good for like rock climbing and stuff here, but I don't see anyone doing it right now. We're going up some stairs. Glutes, 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 glutes. How am I in front? And how do I not leave my inhaler? We can do this. We can do this. Where's he gone? This route is well cute. Wowzers. It'd be aged to play hide and seek here. Okay, so around here we've got a wild Hannah. Peeping. Peeping. Peeping through the wild. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this lot are coming and I'm going to scare them. They've gone. But these two are on the way, so I'm going to scare them. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do I was thinking, imagine she loses her balance and it's my fault. <laughs> my fault, she just tumbles down. <laughs> no, this is not, this is not okay. It's raining, it's it pouring. Is. Come on. Oh, oh my Smile. God. <laughs> We're going to a waterfall. I'm seeing enough water right now. Okay, we've come across a bridge. I'm only really two minutes into it. It's meant to be a 45 minute walk. Ah. We're so nearly there. That has took so long. But we've made it. Wow. Is it worth wow. it? Oh my frick frack. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's sick. That's Woo! We made it! And this is what we look like. I'm a catch. <laughs> made it. Drenched. Just Little about. Drown rats. <laughs> Just about. How, like. This is drenched. I didn't pile of raincoats down there. I'm a day crazy, so I'm a sad adventurous. Okay, we've now made it to Hokitika. What a cool name of a place. And that's just made out of wood. I thought it was quite cool. It's just by the beach, and we're gonna go for a little wander, try and get some food somewhere. But the weather's turned out nice, it's not raining anymore. Okay, so we've decided to come and get a fish and chips because um, it's big in New Zealand. Um, I thought it was quite a British thing, but no. Fish and chips is big here in New Zealand, so this is like the normal type of cod fish you'd get. But these are the ones they have. Um, a fish and chip shop, so yeah, just stopped here. And it's literally a tiny little town with like loads of cute cafes. So, fish and chip time, and I've bought my vinegar in a pot. You have to buy it like this. Okay, we've just found our room, 44, and we've got some mukbangs in here. I have bags in the top one. Everyone was trying to bag the bottom ones, but I'm actually really happy with it up there. Um, that reminds me of like my old bed. I used to love having stairs in my bed at home. So yeah, this is our next hostel. This is a rainforest retreat. And then we have a little bathroom in here, which is good because at the last hostel, you had to walk to the bathroom. But here we have our own. So yep, I'm up there tonight, but this place is so cute. Like it's got a hot tub, a sauna, there's like karaoke on tonight. It's well cute. So this is reception and there's just loads of little, I don't even know what you'd call them, little lodges of loads of different dorms. We're just going to go check out the spa now just to see if it's busy. Oh my god, it looks rammed. I'm not going to film in here, there's a sauna and a hot tub. Like, look at that view. It's actually incredible. Um, I think now we're just going to get ready to go have some pizza. I don't know how to do any cute half up, half down hairstyles. I could give it a go. Yeah. We were just um, doing accents, guys, and I'm trying to do Bree's accent, which is Canadian, but how do you even say something and let me give it a go? Uh, but like, please don't be offended, because I actually will try. We went on a half hike. We went on and a we half hike. Homer in the shower. That's not like, it's not American. It sounds like kind of nasally, but also like kind of like a farmer. It's not like a farmer. Farmer Joe. It'd be like come by nervous Like farmer would be completely different. You are like so say say uh, say I'm a tennis coach. <laughs> say your job. I'm a tennis coach. I'm a tennis coach. No? No, it's not bad. Doesn't sound as bad as when you after. I'm an actor. That one just sounds hard. 
That is a harsh it's word, though. Like, yours is, like, really, like, like, British accents are really, like, delicate and, like, like... Delicate. Like, like, posh. Like... <laughs> For you, mimic me. <laughs> okay, say something. Um... I can't wait to have pizza tonight. <laughs> I can't wait to have pizza tonight. <laughs> you make me sound so posh. I was going to say, you sound like you're trying to imitate the queen. <laughs> no, she is. As, <laughs> as well Nesh. Nesh. I'm well Nesh. I'm well Nesh. <laughs> I'd like to point out that's not like proper English, okay? That's, <laughs> that's Molly's made up language. No, <laughs> Nesh is a word. It's 100% not a word. <laughs> Right, guys, we're gonna get As ready. As Urban Dictionary says, it is a word. Yes. And you know, Urban Dictionary is a very reputable. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> source. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready and go for pizza. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of them. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we've come into this little pub that is on the retreat and we're getting some yeah. garlic bread and then like endless yeah, pizza not. and this is all our group oh. over there as well. No, 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 so, no, no, no. this is so cool, there's a full table as well, this is ace. But, you know, okay, I've never tried Hawaiian pizza before because I don't agree with pineapple on pizza, so let's give it a go. Never, I've never tried it before. Margarita's my vibe. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about that. Huh? Pineapple on pizza. You're not sure? Okay, I'll give it a go. There's no, there's not even pineapple on this bit. He chose the beef with the least pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's cheating. <laughs> okay, I'll put this bit of pineapple there, yeah. if that makes you happy. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> so Connor today says, when we stop off, um, <laughs> where was where was we? Where did we stop? What? For your little secret subway. <laughs> Pocket ticker. Pocket ticker, that's how you say it, isn't yeah. it? Okay, so stop there and he goes, it's probably best, you know, go to the, um, go support the um, small businesses. Is that local, what local, local businesses, yeah. right? And then I walked past and he stood in Subway. <laughs> you, went, you went to Subway? Broad. You absolutely And I walked past and just went, practice what you preach. I said sometimes you do you do just need a Subway sandwich. And you I, did. I was you, speaking for myself, really. Right, pineapple. Uh-huh. Right, I regret you not Do you enjoy your sandwich? Margarita, yes, please. That'd be brilliant. Yeah. We've it's not that bad. Yeah, but it's not that bad, but I prefer margarita. Yeah. Alright. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Oh, it's karaoke the dorm just up in my bunk bed editing the video to go up it was meant to go up on sunday and it's now monday night um so i've been struggling with the wi-fi connection i've got it all edited it's just not uploading i'm watching the final of big brother and i've just come back to the dorm earlier tonight you guys know i don't drink i don't really like going out and tonight was kind of a night of where Everyone's kind of having a little drink, doing a bit of karaoke, do you know what, it's been lovely. We've had a right nice little sing song, um, but it is half nine and I was like, it's time for me to leave and go get showered, go get in my PJs, go get my outfit out ready for the morning, kind of plan tomorrow and just settle before going to bed and getting a good night's sleep. And also I think the jet lag's kind of like, it's all just kicking in. So yeah, I don't know what time the others will get in, um, but you know what, I'm such a deep sleeper that I don't even, I don't even think I'll wake up, so I'll be all good. But it's bedtime, I'm gonna get this video uploaded on my 4G, watch the end of Big Brother final, and get some sleep so good night everyone and i will see you in the morning okay i've just come down for breakfast good morning everyone so there's some pastries oh i love a bit of pastry it was hot food as well oh okay hostel vibes killing it oh hash browns scrambled eggs smell cute this is where we were last night and now it's now it's transformed into breakfast 
Right, we're going for a little walk into town, but these are the little signs here of things that you can do. So that's the glacier experience. We're really hoping that the helicopter thing goes ahead today, but it's weather dependent. Um, and we're literally gonna go walk now towards the quads. I mean, I'm definitely gonna do it. Are you gonna do it, Hannah? Potentially. Okay, <laughs> let's go. We actually don't know where we're going, but this town is really small, right? Yeah, it's so not, it's we not can't, there's not really much. We can't really get lost, but they said just walk into town and we'll find the quad place. So that's what we're doing. Okay, we just walked over to the quads. It is looking like such a nice day. I'm really hoping that we can do the heli hike, but this is where we're doing our little practice drive session through the water and then round there. But this view, I can't get over it. It's literally incredible. And these are the quads and I've got my white air force on. Yay! Okay guys, we're putting on some lovely overalls. Right, let's wipe these on. This is fashion. Fashion at its finest. Jacket. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Got your wet on. Help yourself to a pair of gum boots off the back wall. Alrighty, is three and fours at the front here. Ready. Let's go. Okay, got my ready wellies on. Guess what cool sunglasses I picked? Red. What have you gone for? Purple. purple. With purple princess. Purple. Let's go. Yeah. Guys, this is the final outfit. Let's hit the road, Jack. Let's get it started, girls. That's great. Right. We're, oh, yeah. We're on. Right, let's go. Okay, look at the view. Okay, we're yeah. going. Okay, I've just been through the rainforest. That was crazy. And now we've stopped here to get some pics. The glacier is over there, like behind this little one here. But yeah, I've literally just been in the rainforest and it was crazy. I'm going to try and get footage in a bit. If I can get it, I'll be so happy. If not, I literally going to be so good. I can't show you guys, but there's like so much water. Like our feet were like up in the water. Um, and it was crazy. But yeah, get some pics here. Guys, this is what I mean by the rainforest. <laughs> it's crazy and there's just so much water. Like it comes right up to our legs. I'm literally about to head back off now. I will try and film some on the camera. Maybe we give it a go, filming a bit on the camera. Yeah. Hey guys, we're off! It was a tiny group, it was so good. And thanks to Hannah being able to try and get some footage. Bumpy. Like it might be bumpy, we'll but we got some footage of what we were actually doing. It was so good. Like I'd absolutely recommend it to anyone who comes here. Um, I'm gonna leave all like the links and stuff, probably on my Instagram. I might put it in the description box of this video, so just go and have a look in case I have it might be over on Instagram on my reels. But yeah. Oh so my god, good. so do good. And definitely do the quads. Do you agree friends, Joseph? Yeah. Literally, I can't believe how deep the water was as well. Like <laughs> it's like full on a river. Anyway, we're heading back now and then I think we might go on a little hike. Maybe the glacier heli hike thing. Hopefully the weather's good Fingers enough. We just got off a shuttle to come to do the Friends Joseph Glacier daily update walk. I just read the sign. This is not what we're doing. We're doing a walk up to the top to see the glacier. So oh, yeah, well, we're going to hit the road, Jack. The road, Jack. Let's go. This is what I meant to film the glacier view at the end of the forest walk. Sentiment, sense, sin, sin. Don't know what that says. Oh my goodness, look at the view from here. 
Over there, you can see the part of the glacier coming down the mountain, coming round the mountain when she comes. Wow. I'll be coming round the mountain. Wow. Whoa. Okay. We've made it to the viewpoint. Yeah. Oh my god. Looks unreal. No drones allowed. Have you brought your drone? No drone. Thank goodness. Just some influences in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. That's a glacier over there. All of the scenic flights and helicopter rides are cancelled, so come on this walk instead, just so we can still we can still see it. But how amazing! Okay, we've walked to this hot tub place now. I'm gonna go in and have a little stage and in the hot tub. Do you pronounce it Waiho? Waiho hot tubs. Look how amazing it looks. I can't wait. This is gonna be so nice. Beautiful in the sun, magically in the rain. I can actually imagine it would be so nice in the rain. Yeah, I love They've got literally like bath salts and stuff that you can put in. There's some bath salts here and then they also have um, some bath bombs over here. Oh cool! So on here they've put some Epsom salts, which apparently we just throw in the whole freaking bowl. And what was this one? Lavender what? Milk? Lavender oil? Lavender milk! It doesn't really like oh, milk! Okay. <laughs> Lavender, oh, oh my god, it smells so nice. I'll fall to sleep in here, guys, and then water, and then go to the tub. This is so cool and cozy, and then I won't show the girls here, but they're getting changed in here. Yeah, yeah, maybe and it's like, close the door. it's a nice little, yeah, okay. maybe you should close the door. I can't close the door. <laughs> it's a nice little get changed <laughs> area. Right, let's get changed and get in. Ooh. Lavender. Oh, it smells so good. Imagine we all just fall to sleep. Oh my god, we missed that. <laughs> we missed right. the gemstone carpet. Right, should I should put the salts in. Right, should I just do it like handful? Doing all of the salts. Okay, we're like witches, go. Go on. Potion, hocus pocus. <laughs> Ooh. For our muscles. <laughs> all of that walking. All of that. Give it a big tip. Oh, big tip. Tip it in. Go. <laughs> You know, like jugs and cups in the back. Yeah. <laughs> like, so no. Should we play bacon? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best time here. <laughs> Anyone want to play mermaids? What's mermaids? You've never played mermaids? I've never played mermaids. <laughs> okay, we've finished up at the hot tub now and we're in the car on the way to Gemstone Carbon, which I'm so excited about because apparently like, you make jewellery and I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm going to go there now. Just got picked up and we're on the way back. I feel like it's like really close. I feel like we're not too far away. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with some nice food tonight at Tiger King. Um, I think it's like, is it Asian food? Yeah. 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 Mm, can't wait. Anyway, go now. Bye. Love you all. See you in a second. Yeah. And then I'll call When you can't stand, you actually put your wire out. You do a foot in your gym to stand. That will look after you and can get to get to the end. Okay, so we're now all picking our stone and decide what we want to make it into. Pick the one that connects to you, which one like grabs your attention. I love stuff like this, this is so fun. Okay, I've gone for this big piece. It's actually like the biggest one in there. Um, but what I'm thinking is, is I like carve it into like a triangle, like a mountain, because there's so many mountains here. And um, I was like remembering I got it from here, but also like this gemstone like connects you to nature. Um, so I'm thinking I could lay it next to all my crystals at home. Almost like a little, like a coaster, but not a coaster. Oh yeah, girl. Come on, science lab. This is so cute. Oh, my this is so cool. Oh my god. Water. And then I've got to watch my nails. There we go. And that's how you do it. Okay, I finished carving it. I'm actually really happy with it. It's like perfect little mountain shape. And it's like really pretty. I love it. And I did so well to not file my nails off. So yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like now. I don't know what we're about to do, but she told me to sit here, so I'm sat here. <laughs> this is the weirdest experience ever. It's so fun, so cool, and so different. 
<laughs> oh, she has one buff dead. Go on, go on. Go, girl. She'll She's get it carved. It. She'll buff it. <laughs> I'll polish it Perfect. Oi, <laughs> right, <laughs> Oi, naughty, no. What's he done? Pissed on Chingy's bad windows <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, he did. Yeah. So what? Pissed on his tyre. Oh, he's that. He's weed on his tyre. What? He's on the tyre. The ultimate disrespect. Good boy. <laughs> Hello, you run to the girls. Go on. <laughs> He's hiding in yeah. me. He's hiding by me. <laughs> <Isn't he? laughs> Alright. Hi, gorgeous. And Molly's just hiding behind her camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the decay is all smoothing the stone, taking off the outside line. But when we do this with the diamond paper, it takes us 15 minutes. It's going to take all that dry off, make it quite smooth bring out more colour, but more importantly, allow it to absorb your oil and then it's shiny. But in our world, we give it back, it's muddy. But it's really important to keep washing the paper. And what was the difference between the different colours? Right, you're starting on the coarsest one. So it's taking it down quite a bit. White ones in between, and then the blue's more like a buffer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like wood? Yeah. Yeah. Can I have work for you, sweetheart? Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe you could, I don't know. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> <laughs> How'd she do anything? How'd you do up with that? Um, like, God, it must be fun. And these are all the ones that I think she might have made and then they're selling. They're so pretty. So nice, right. We've done the little sanding session. And now we're gonna go and make it into a keyring or whatever. Okay, we are now walking for some food. Um, that was so cool. We were literally just saying how at first I was like, what is going on? Like, this is so crazy and like random. And then it just turned out to be the best thing ever. She was so lovely. But yeah, we're walking to. How much to... she loved Love Island? Yeah, she oh loved my God. Love Island. <laughs> she literally she said something about, am I with Tommy Fury? And I was like, no, but it's weird that she asked that now. Yeah. Like, really weird she I asked that. She, and I was like, I no. I thought she'd been given a heads up. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, no. And then I was like, oh, oh but like, and she said something about Molly May, and I was like, oh yeah, I've had that before and she was like have you and then she started talking about things and i was like yeah and then someone said have you met her i was like yeah and then she spoke about love island she's the biggest love island fan i was like this woman's amazing she's great and she was so sweet as well really nice so yeah walking for food now i can smell food i'm that hungry like i literally i can sniff it and i'm starving it's making my belly rumble <laughs> yeah on the way now and i might meet the others there i don't know oh we're literally here that was the quickest walk ever it's like 200 meters i pulled the camera out pretty much when we set off from over there Oh my god, we're literally here. Okay. This is going to be so nice, I just know it already. Mm. Okay, we've gone for butter chicken. We've actually all gone for butter chicken because yeah, the guy who was just sat over there on his own said you have to get that. And the guy who's our tour guide said you have to get butter chicken. So we've got my recommendations. It looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat because I'm so hungry right now. Okay, um, that was unreal. But right now, I'm in a food coma. Snapchat. And it's nap time. <laughs> um, a guy came over and was like, do you like garlic? <laughs> and we were like, yes, why? Do you like garlic? <laughs> anyway, he was like, you need to be sweating. He was very, his emotions were heightened. Um, and he was like, you need, to, you need to get what I've got. I just pointed at something random on the menu and they just brought it over and it's, it's so garlicky and I'm sweating. And then he had his napkin and he literally didn't eat, he just went like this, wiped his face. And um, guess what we did? We went, we want what he's got. Here we are, three butter chickens down, four butter chickens down. Sat here, they put some secret ingredients in that. It was the best for chicken. We had it at like medium temperature as well, so it's a little bit spicy. Uh, but now I've hit a um, food coma, I hit a wall. I don't want to be social and I want to go to bed now. So good night, guys. Okay, we're out and about, it's pitch black <laughs> on a walk in the rainforest. Trying to find a glowworm. Oh, there's one on its way. There's a glowworm coming, look, guys. Checking. We're trying to find a glowworm. Oh my god, they're glowing. I can see a few. In front of you. Oh my god, can you see that on the camera? I don't even know if you can see that. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah. Oh my god, they're actually glowing. What? I hope you can see this on camera. If not, this is yeah. so embarrassing. 
Okay, <laughs> back from the dark. We were in the middle of the woods. Um, in the middle of the rainforest, we saw the glowworms. Now, the clip that you will have seen either would have been pitch black or you will actually have seen them. I don't even know. If you got to saw them through the camera, then I'm buzzing, but I have a feeling you won't have seen a thing. So, there were loads of just bright lights when it was pitch black, and they were the glowworms. It was actually really cool, but very scary. It was like we're in a horror film. So, we left, we walked back, literally just got back to our little bedroom and got ready for bed. I'm now going to bed. I'm shattered tonight. I am so to 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 Edda. Thank you. Good morning. We're on the coach. Rise and shine, everybody. We're gonna go to the wildlife. I'm um, gonna go see, see some kiwis. Um, yeah, I have no idea what we said. Did you ever even hear it? Yeah, he's a And Connor said live dinosaur. And a live dinosaur? I've never seen a dinosaur before, so I can't wait. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> she loves me, really. Like the shit I've had to put up with all week. Oh my god. I'm a celebrity getting out of there. So, in this establishment, we obviously look after the kiwis I think I want a lizard. Ah, oh, there's another one over there. Okay, so wildlife complete. We're now going on a walk to like a lake or a waterfall or something. Um, but I couldn't even film the kiwi bird because you weren't allowed flash photography, you weren't on any sort of phone light, you went on, it was like quiet, you couldn't even speak, no phones, nothing, the nocturnal or whatever that means. And yeah, I couldn't even film anything. So I promise you guys I saw one, I saw two actually. Um, but yeah, I couldn't even get my camera out. Like the tiniest light was on my phone and the woman was like, ma'am. But I promise I saw one and we're now walking, but I'm freezing yes, I and I honestly that. feel so tired today. I feel like I felt tired the whole trip. I'm like, but I'm so tired. I'm like, and <laughs> guess what? Like, We've just put our name down on the list for attendant Bungie. Oh, my mum and dad would kill me because <laughs> they said don't do it. Yeah, sorry mum. Bungie's like my worst nightmare. But I feel like <laughs> it's a bucket list tick off. Yeah. And we could do it together and just hold on and be like, three, two, one, and jump together. So you should put um, pictures. That you've, seen, that you've seen on Google of what the on tandem yeah. energy is like. So we think we might do that, but at the minute we are just walking again with a gorgeous view. Um, is this a waterfall Excuse or the a... the best though. <laughs> Which uh, view do you prefer? Uh, lake. Lake. Yeah. Okay, gorgeous. And guess what? I've done all these walks in Air Force, everyone. <laughs> in white <laughs> Air Force. Look at this little walk, this little route. It's beautiful. And we've just, we've hood up. just agreed. I've got my hood up too. You're such a copycat. <laughs> I'm not on you, I'm not on you drop. <laughs> You're such a style icon. <laughs> we, we're yeah. gonna do the tandem tomorrow, we've decided. Let's do it. Let's get it booked. And we'll just send Actually, a video to mum and dad afterwards. My legs are just like... And we can hold on to each other so, so tight <laughs> and just jump together. You were put on this earth just to make me do this, Molly. Yep, my angels will look after us, we'll be so fine. But this walk is gorge. And I was just saying how I can't be bothered for it and actually this is actually really cute. It's so cute. cute. Alive and invigorated by nature. Honestly. I feel high on life right now. I could <laughs> sniff the branches of the trees. <laughs> okay, just done a quick stop off because there's a gorgeous viewpoint. Oh, shoot. How have someone only got one shoe on? Um, gorgeous viewpoint from here. So I'm just going to quickly have a look and we get straight back on the bus. Wow. <laughs> that is stunning. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is good. What lake is this again? Uh, Wanaka. No. Uh, pardon you? Lake Wanaka. Okay, we've just come into our next accommodation. There's an upstairs. But look at this. There's a double here and there's three singles upstairs. Look at this view. Oh my goodness. This is unreal. Wow. Oh my God. This is just crazy. And everyone's got like a little balcony like that. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. That. So here we have the double. And then up the stairs. I think there's three singles. Oh no, there's two singles. Wait, no, there's a double and a single. Oh my goodness, who is that? 
Hello? Hello? Is that? Why is the door not open from that side? Hey, thanks. So this is like where we're staying from the outside. So that's what we're in over there. And that's obviously the view through there. It is bloody gorgeous. I'm going to have some food in here now. It's just incredible. Like, I just can't believe it. What even is this place? We've just had some food and now we're on the way to Secret Sauna. We're going to go get sweaty. I keep singing in every vlog. Do you know what? There's something about the New Zealand air that makes me just a little bit crazy. Guys, what is it? See, no response. No response. Guys. <laughs> and it's just crazy lot that want to go to sauna. Um, the lake, because it's meant to be a gorgeous view. I can't wait. But I'm in my pyjama bottoms because I don't know what to put on after. Because I'm going to be like wet and sweaty. So I put my pyjama bottoms on, the ones that are dirty from yesterday. We're off there now. And I'll do my best, but I still can't get over this view, guys. Like, I don't even know how... How do people like, literally call this home and live here? It's absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. We're here. Secret sauna. Yes. This is cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. With my backpack on. Yeah, actually. Come on, Dora. Dad. <laughs> I'd laugh if you tripped over that. <laughs> this is so cute. Yeah. <gasps> it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna walk down. We've done 15 minutes. We've done 15 minutes in the sauna. We're gonna walk down to the lake now. She said if you go in the lake after every 15 minutes and come back in the sauna. So we're doing it. That's what we're doing. We're following the lights in our crocs that she's yeah. given us. Yeah. Have you got a light? Oh, yeah. Oh, light. Wait, you put the crocs on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What's the little fluffy yeah, thing on top? Oh, it's just my friend. Oh, right. Um, mm -hmm. Makes people sing, you see. <laughs> Do you know what? what? Getting in cold, cold exposure makes you... It's like, it's like a runner's high. Yeah, no, I think no, the sauna Does is it right. Work? Like, it's an amazing yeah. feeling. Wait till you do a bungee. Yeah. <gasps> bungee tomorrow, everyone. Bungee tomorrow. Bungee Thank tomorrow. Come on, get ready. ready. I think it's the top one you meant to put so much focus on. <laughs> Just knock in the top. I'm probably sure that's an unusable handle. Just and you can't really do nails either. That's how you got it. Thank you. Okay, we're back from the sauna. I feel so spaced out and tired and dehydrated. I literally need to sleep right now because tomorrow is bungee day. I need to stop doing that tune. Don't know why I do it. Um, tomorrow's bungee day and sky ride day, which is like a zip wire. But yeah, I need to sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. And I need to drink more water. Note to self, drink more water. If you watch this video and you haven't drunk enough water today, go get a pint of water. We need to drink more water because my skin is showing I'm not drinking water. Good night, everyone. See you in the morning. It's bungee day. <laughs> Guys, I'm not a dog girl, but this is a dog stick library. How cute is that? Got the classics, got the novels. I'm sorry, but that is flipping adorable. We've just walked. I would say we've just walked here. We have definitely not walked here. We've coached here. And now we're walking to the Wanaka tree. And it's a tree in the middle of a lake. Apparently a tree branch snapped off, went down the lake. We're still growing. Arrived at this part of the lake and grew into a tree. We're all crazy enough to go care about a tree. Okay, we've made it over. It is actually beautiful. That is such a gorgeous picture. There's a bird on it. Oh, that even makes it even cuter. I never thought I'd be interested in a tree. But do you know what? I'll give it to you, Wanaka. Okay, food, breakfast, beautiful. I've got this um, coffee frappe, it looks amazing, and some avocado egg on toast. <laughs> really good, going slim with the toast. Try this. Mm, 
like a milkshake. Yeah, I just sense it to smell. Why am I holding it like that? That's so yeah. weird. It is like everywhere. And I, I was glad I was in It's alright. Not very coffee. Either. Maybe I should have got an actual coffee. Okay, we've just stopped here and people leave their bras because it's yeah, for breast her. cancer awareness. And if I had enough with me, I'd leave one. But unfortunately, I don't have enough to leave one. But oh my goodness, this is like the coolest idea. There's loads all along there. And here it is. Thank you for visiting our beautiful valley. Whilst you're here enjoying the lovely scenery, please take a moment to kindly contribute to the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation. Wowzers. <laughs> We're getting high stores for the bungee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're here at the bungee centre. I'm shitting my pants. Here we are. Oh my goodness me. Guys, this could be the end of this vlog, this channel. Uh, who knows? Molly. Yes, Connor. How are you feeling? I've shut my pants three times in the coach already. I've just signed my life away. Have you had a look at the bridge? No, I actually haven't yet. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I actually don't know if I can. If you're filming and you shout Molly the camera's on okay. and I'll upload this video for you if anything happens, I'll do it. Okay, alright. Fingers crossed right it all goes to plan. <laughs> Wait, we're doing the zip ride first. We're yes. doing the zip line first. Yes. And then so we're gonna watch like... a movie and it's gonna hype you up and then you're gonna do the bungee. Yay! This is my tandem but buddy, we're gonna be like this on the way down. Three, two, one! And <laughs> oh, we'll go forward. This is gonna be the funniest thing ever. I are complete, decided to go backwards and upside down, who knows. That was actually so good, but I feel like I've got that little bit of fear gone, and now it's time for the bungee. I'm ready. I'm gonna leave my camera with Shelly or somebody, so hopefully they can capture it for you guys, but I'm actually terrified. I'm so scared. Um, it's time to bungee. <laughs>
did it! We did, we did it. it! Oh my okay, hold god! Hold your hands up! Hold your hands up! Do you know when we was up there? I'm bleeding. I don't know how I'm bleeding. When we was up there, I was like so scared. You took like the card of like I'm gonna be fine. I'm fine. Keep it inside. And I started panicking. Yeah, you were. Uh, and I as soon as we fell, fell, we just gr I grabbed you. Yeah. I thought you were genuinely about. I expected to a bigger yeah. scream. <laughs> I screamed. Yeah. I stayed quiet. I was so scared. <laughs> I thought it'd be the other way around. I uh, thought you were gonna be like. Yeah, it's like a big it. bucket list tick off. Now I've done it. We're alive. Oh and I can upload the video. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Yay! Do a free T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go see them, they'll get you a free t-shirt. And do you know what guys? It's all thanks to Connor that I actually did it. Because if you didn't say, do it, and like, do a tandem, I wouldn't you, have done it. If you had told us we could do it together, we wouldn't have done it. No, it's literally. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so we've just come to where we're staying tonight. It's Lilo, we're in Queenstown, and we're actually just gonna quickly go over to the tattoo place next door. See if we can get in, because there's some of us that fancy a tattoo. One minute we're jumping off a cliff. The next minute, we're in bed. <laughs> Um, eating. Had McDonald's and a baguette. <laughs> um, watching the chase. Watching the chase. While in Queenstown, New Zealand. <laughs> 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 Trying to find a tattoo to get tomorrow. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, the day's just been a crazy one and now we're just going to have a 30 minute nap and get ready for the um, bar crawl in Queenstown when I'm going to drink J2O's the whole way and watch everyone get drunk. Can't Yay. wait, and I'm gonna be on the camera getting all your pics. I <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> and Payback. listen to Hannah chat poo. Yes, right. my favourite. We're gonna have a nap, and I'll catch you when we are ready to go out. Okay, I've come to a shop to get some sweets. I'm the only sober person out and about in Queenstown right now and get some sweets and head back to the room now. I think the girls are wanting to head back as well, so perfect timing. But I really fancy some Pringles. I've met so many people here in Queenstown um, who watch Love Island, so it's been great. I've met so many of you guys and I've been chatting in these places. I've actually been sat working. I must look so strange in like a club scenario, like sat working on my phone. But obviously at home right now, it's 10 in the morning. So Lib's messaging me and freaking just want to reply to everything and get some sorted but my video is going to go up tomorrow. Wait, hang on. Tomorrow at 6pm but obviously I've got to upload here at 7 in the morning. So it's like the time difference is really confusing but yeah. I met so many people here. I'm going to grab some bits now and head back to the hotel but yeah. If you are someone that doesn't drink, you'll know the feeling of going out with people who do but like still being able to have fun but also with a time difference I needed to work. Pretty hard. Good morning, everyone. It is time to go get drenched on the shot over jet because we are so freaking adventurous. We're gonna rock this world. Yeah, we're gonna have a show jet. So it's a big jet that shots over the lake like that. Shot. So this, guys, is Queenstown. Look at the view from this McDonald's. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but you've just never seen a McDonald's with a view like this. Boss, Montclair, Burberry, like... Have you ever seen a view like this? Have you seen a view like that? <laughs> I have actually quite a lot on this trip, <laughs> yes. But this place is just so cute. Tiny, there's a Starbucks on the corner there. The views are just incredible. And it's just a different world. It's the cutest little town. KFC and McDonald's just there. Like, what? I love it, but we're walking now to get Uber to go to the Shadow of a Jed. She got a coffee to make us late for the Uber. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, we've made it to the Shadow of a Jed. But look like over there, guys. There's like just random houses up in the hills. Gorge. Tom Cruise apparently had COVID here in one of his houses. How cool is that? Anyway, let's go. She thinks I'd never wear this poncho again. I'm saying I would, and I'd use it forever and ever and ever. I'd never if I ever go on. You're literally never ever going to wear it again. Like, these pedo shoes not. Oh well, I could take this everywhere I go. You look great. You look like a dementor. It comes in a bag like this, which makes me think it's worth the money. Because I can use it on every time I go on a shot over jet. What do you think, Lottie? I think it's good. I think it's a, it's a vibe. See? Vibe attracts your tribe. This is the tribe I attract. It's <laughs> Guys, this is what we're about to be on. Get ready for the footage. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Okay, we made it down. Let's go and get our life jackets on. This is currently what she looks like. 
I can't wait. It's actually freezing. Like it's so cold. You literally look like a big old trash bag. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Eh? <laughs> Fashion. There's when you walking down the hill <laughs> next to Shelly. She's wearing like a perfectly normal outfit and then you come down looking like this. That was quality. Made it. That was quality. That was honestly that was sick. That was I cannot so wait fun. to put that footage in there. <laughs> we look crazy at <laughs> that. Oh my god, it was oh, great. Was... Do you know what? Favorite activity as of yet. Really? Favorite activity, honestly. Really? Would like recommend over everything. That was yeah. Sick. I'd say that like the bungee jump was more of an adrenaline yeah. rush. This that was, was more like I don't know, you could, I think because it was less scary, yeah. you could enjoy it more. Got a knot. Yeah, yeah, you I can. Had to cut, I had to, like, you cut a knot out. A, like, there was like a tiny little knot <laughs> fair, in my hair. Like, Do you know what? That was honestly my favourite. Yeah, 10 10. 10 10. Okay, I'm now at a tattoo parlor. I like to get tattooed everywhere I go. If you guys remember when I got my starfish in America, I got these ones in LA, one in Vegas, the one on my bum in Hawaii. And I feel like it's just becoming a nice little trend of getting a tattoo everywhere I travel. So I've got to keep on trend with it and carry it on. So in New Zealand, I'm now at a tattoo parlor and I'm about to get one. I think I actually might get two because I can't decide. The fern is like a symbol here in New Zealand and I've seen so many fern leaves on every single walk I've been doing and I think I might get that on my foot and then I also like adventure just because it kind of goes with like the theme of traveling and getting tattoos and stuff so I might get adventure on the side of my foot as well I don't know I might get both I might get one I don't know but that's the plan I'm getting a tattoo now and yeah okay, we've gone with a stencil we've got it on and we're gonna get started i think it's so cute i love this one i went with the adventure one but then i wasn't too sure so i thought let's just go with the one i'm 100 with and i think this one looks really cute so we'll go with this okay we're all done it looks so cute i love it it's adorable i love it thank you so much okay we're in our next hostel look at the room they've given us it's amazing it's got a balcony it's amazing honestly it's the nomads um in Queenstown, so we've got this huge, huge balcony. And then look outside, it's literally unreal. The views, houses up there. This is Queenstown, we were in the World Bar yesterday. Um, yeah, look at that view over there. Absolutely incredible. Stunning, stunning. Yeah, this room, I mean, I think they've been very, very kind to us. Um, it's gorge, bathroom, bed, and they've given us a freaking Easter egg and some little eggs. So cute, one each. How adorable. Where have you nicked that chewing gum from? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> is, is that ring as well? No. The door's open to that one. Maybe someone's in it. It's from me. No. It's from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. Where's someone's it? definitely checking in there. That's definitely not ours. This isn't ours, guys. No, but that doesn't have... Someone will be checking in here, surely. But they've left this open. Maybe that was just part of the room. <laughs> what, she was just like spread out and someone <laughs> comes <laughs> to check in? Get her out, I'll just dump my shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're off up to the top. Let's go, girls. Dun, 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 dun. Going out tonight, feeling all right. This is amazing. This is actually unreal. Are we there yet? Okay, we've got to the viewing platform. Isn't it amazing? 
absolutely beautiful. If I say so myself, your face again. Get out of the vlog. I better do these um, We Little America things. So, could someone play the Mario Kart theme tune. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna throw a banana on the track. <laughs> wow. Time for the loogie. <laughs> We're going on the loogie right now. <laughs> what? How tight's your helmet? She needed a medium. Yeah, I needed the medium. Big head. Got a big head. Big, big head. For the braids. For the braids. <laughs> no, actually, we held my down. I was going to be like that. Braids two, one head one. Head, head. No, is it fit? Finn, Duncan. Do you not know what I'm talking about? Oh my god, you must know what I'm talking about. What? Finn, Finn, Duncan. What? Yeah. Oh me my too. god. Right. Just don't know. Doesn't matter. You guys know Finn, Finn, Duncan. Headbutt me, Bree. All your fans Three, are gonna two, know. One. Not hard. Yeah. <laughs> no. Three, two, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> your big head will annihilate anyone. <laughs> We're going up to get on the loose, get on the loose, get on the loose. We're going up to get on. Guys, I need new friends. <laughs> I'm going to be, is it Browser or Bowser? Bowser. Bowser. Like, it's behind everyone. No, Ooh. she's Luigi. You're going to be Luigi. Yoshi and you're Mario. You give me Mario vibes. No, I, do I give you Mario vibes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or oh, like one of them mushrooms toad. that are annoying in a way. You're, I think you're Toad. Yeah, thank you. I like Toad. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is what we're about to do. We're at the top. I'm going to come down on these. Let's go do it, guys. I'm not going to be able to film anything, but I'll see you at the end. This is sick, though, with the view. This is so cool. And you only have brakes, so you just go with the flow and you only have a brake. There's no, like, accelerator or anything. Oh my god! Right, for your brakes, guys, grab the grip, pull back as far as you can and hold it. So, all the way, it takes a little bit of muscles. Wait, try to the back. Yeah. Sick. That's your brakes, and then you're just releasing a little bit towards the middle for go. Okay. okay. And then pull backwards to stop. Yeah. <laughs> like that, gentle though, come down. Uh, so, go all the way back. And then just a little bit forward. And then pull back to stop. Sweet. Come down again. <laughs> stop it there. And we're like the um, shells from Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, literally. We had some people dressed as Mario and Luigi this oh, morning. A uh, little turn this way, guys. Huh? Our elegant driving oh, yeah. team. Oh. Kind of like a bike. <laughs> Alright, stop like in there. <laughs> That was so good, guys. Yeah, so love that. Fun. We all love that. And there's loads of kids on it as well, so like, it wasn't too deep. If you're, like, if you're here and you want to do an activity, it's not like that scary, is it? Like, no, it's not like an adrenaline rush. It's just fun. Yeah, really fun. You can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want. Yeah. And the views are amazing. So yeah, we went for three, three laps. Um, and yeah, what are we doing now? Heading back, getting ready and going for some food. Yeah. We decided to get a Ferg burger. Because apparently, like, aren't they the best ones or like voted number one? Ed Sheeran's had it. They're very famous, yeah, yeah. in, in um, Queenstown. So we've gone there, it was very busy, like queues outside. They have a bakery, a bar, and a burger place. So yeah, we've gone for that. It's Friday night in Queenstown. <laughs> it's Good Friday, and we're having we're a little here. burger night. Yeah, I got a normal, like, normal one with like tomatoes, um, lettuce. It's called the Ferg Burger, it's like the classic one with chips and alioli, which actually I didn't get, but I'm gonna nibble theirs. Tee hee hee hee. She's saying she didn't want chips. I was like, well, I don't want to see her hand anywhere. <laughs> anyway, near mine. And Keep your grubby little mitts <laughs> out of the bag. Out of I owe you $5 for giving the singing man on the street with his dog money and I owe yeah. you money for the <laughs> burger. Did you just order a lettuce, lettuce burger? No bun. <laughs> what the hell? Do you know what though? It does look good but it's a lot of lettuce. Do you know what? That actually looks really nice. It looks like they put the lettuce instead of the bun. Uh huh. To be honest. That's good though. I can't really see mine yet. Oh this is like a odd... What? It's like an odd bread. But That's an odd bread. <laughs> Guys, this morning we got up at freaking quarter past five in the morning. Quarter past five. 
However, we did go to bed quite early last night, so I actually got a really good sleep, but quarter past five. We're now stopping off doing little scenic stops for photos. I've just got off and got some pics, but I've been sleeping the whole way here. Had a nice nap in the coach. I can sleep anywhere, me. Like, I can actually sleep anywhere. Now we are about a few hours away from Milford Sound, so it's one of the wonders of the world, I think. I'm not clued up on this stuff. I'm more creative than academic, guys. But we are now on the way there. Gonna get on the boat, some sort of waterfall thing. I'll bring you along with, I'll show you, and yeah. That's the plan, Stan. Right, we're here at Milford Sound. We're about to go and get in our boat. I think that's it over there. But apparently you're meant to get drenched. So this is me, and I've brought my poncho along. What a great buy. That was the best purchase yesterday. The best purchase. 19.99 in New Zealand dollars. Don't know what that is in the UK, but best purchase of my life. This is the boat we're getting on, and apparently you're gonna get very wet. Right, a tire for Milford Sound. Here she is, got the gloves on. I'm ready. I'm expected to get like proper drenched. People are just like looking quite normal. We're off and the sun's come out. Now the front of the boat is open, so if you do wanna come downstairs into the wheelhouse, you can get down onto the bow. That is beautiful. So go down there. You can see all the water mist coming off. Wow. He, did he say it's three times the size of the Niagara Falls? Yeah. Is that facts or not? Um, uh, really? Is it? Wow. Oh, it's amazing. I love a waterfall. It's so like therapeutic. I love the sound of it as well. Okay, we got wet. We got wet. Just a little bit. <laughs> Here we are, bending down on the top deck. Hiding. <laughs> Everyone's copying. <laughs> Hold up. I might go no, in. I might go in and get a sausage roll. Passing another waterfall now. We can't get close to this one though. But look how amazing that is with the peak in the background as well. He also just said, which I thought was cool, is that the people at work here live here. Got a piece of land and you can only live here if you work here in Milford Sound. How cool is that? And the sun's come out. Perfect timing. Just for when we finish, finish the tour, the sun's come out. Okay, it's now the evening. I've just been out with the others. They're having drinks in like little clubs and whatnot. I've been there dancing along with my water because that's okay. And now it's time for a hot chocolate. We found this gelato place, ice cream, and it looks amazing. Look how big this egg is. Like next to my hand, like the proportion is actually huge. And if I could take that home for Maisie, I absolutely would. But there's not a chance of getting that in my case. Um, but yeah, I think I might get some sort of ice cream with chocolate on, or maybe just a hot choc. I'm not sure yet. But this is my type of night. And I don't know how many times I've preached to you guys, if you don't drink, it's absolutely fine. Don't feel the odd one out, don't feel weird. It's absolutely fine to be that way. And if you prefer to enter night with a hot choc, that's absolutely okay. But it is going up to my bedtime, and if I don't get sleep, I'm gonna be grumpy. So I'm gonna have this hot choc and get to bed. Cause I fly home tomorrow. Shelly, what are you going for? I have gone for a vanilla bean pan ice cream lolly. Yeah. With some white chocolate and roasted almond. It looks amazing. It actually looks unreal and well. Oh my god, like it just spurted out. Mm. White chocolate, is that good? Really good. She's literally getting my hot chocolate out of like a little cauldron. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Back in the room. This one's joined me. <laughs> We're having some giggles, guys. We're having <laughs> giggles. We just went out onto the balcony to try and troll our, find our friends. <laughs> we wanted to troll our tour guide. We <laughs> wanted to try and stop him in his tracks. <laughs> hey, Connor, don't forget about us, your friends. <laughs> Connor, hi! Connor, what time is the bus leaving in the morning? It's time for bed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got cream on. Retain it. Cut her. Do get her, get her, get her breakfast her. vouchers in the morning. <laughs> Guys, I really hope Connor, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. <laughs> we definitely didn't try to stop you in your tracks. <laughs> we definitely did not look over the terrace to see if we, we could, could see, see a beanie. <laughs>
<laughs> Even your beanie, oh god. Right, we're going to bed guys, we'll see you in the morning for our last day, our last day together. Oh no, don't say that. No, I've just said it. Thailand. Do this again in the summer together. Yeah, Thailand part two. Thailand. <laughs> and I haven't had a drink. Okay guys, this is the end of this vlog. Today we've actually been to another lake and we've been like driving to the airport. It's been like quite a long day of driving. We did stop off at a lake and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I wish I had my camera in my bag, but I didn't have it on me at hand. So right now I'm at the airport at Christchurch and I'm doing the long leg of the journey home. It's gonna sound crazy, but I'm going to Auckland now then to Singapore, then to London, and when I get to London, I'm going home to then repack to then go to Turkey. So it's the biggest changeover ever. After like 30 hours of traveling, I don't know how it's gonna be possible, but we're gonna do it. Currently just downloading videos for the flight because last time I forgot to do that and it's too long of a flight to not have YouTube videos downloaded. I'm gonna try and sleep again, so hopefully I just sleep for this whole 10 hour flight. And then on the second flight, it's 13 hours. Hopefully then I can just get work done, edit this video, watch some YouTube videos and have a little bit of a nap. That's the plan. I hope you enjoyed this first solo travel vibe video. I've got so many more travel plans already booked. I can't wait for those, but yeah, get ready for more travel content. I also just wanted to add, if you are wanting to see the Kiwi experience, I did the Southern Crossing tour. I'll leave all the information below. Um, it was nine days, eight or nine days. How long have we even been here? And it was a group of like, I think 17 of us. No, there wasn't. No, 11 of us. We had a small group. Basically, you can do the tours, or you can do the hop on, hop off buses. I'll leave the links to all the Kiwi stuff below in the description box so you can see. But yeah, I definitely recommend them. They were great. Everything was like really well organized. I updated everything on my stories as well of like, travel, food, accommodation. Um, so I put it as like a little highlight. If you want to go check that, you can do. But yeah, definitely recommend, love them, and I'll leave all the info below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!